Richard Southern joins us once again from the home office. Richard, some people getting tired of all of this quarantining, but others are making good use of it. Well, I think about it all the time, Janela. I know it's been really tough, but it's also there's so much like good that's come out of it. We're oh. trying new things. We're doing new things. And I got to thinking about this last night and I put out a tweet uh, and I said, you know, the pandemic has been hard on many. But some positives that come out of it for me, and this is true, I planted my first garden on my balcony. Oh, nice. And there's the salad I had last night from a Janela. Oh, amazing. So what did so you I'm plant? Eating this. I'm you planted the anything lettuce? I'm thinking, this is good. So I said, City News viewers, send me your positives. I got this tweet from a handle called Dad, and he said, same here, Richard, COVID garden planted. Another tweet in from Bruce Campbell, and he said, yeah, taking gardening up a notch. Look at my covered garden with lots lots of vegetables going well so far bruce said really cool bruce got a tweet from joe he said finally got around to an old project dug out a hole for the pond liner i've had lying around for 15 years and i finally installed it look at that nice pond they're building nice. janella got a tweet from laura she said our downstairs is finally getting its much needed retrofit only took 16 years and a <laughs> pandemic <laughs> Uh, she got a, a facelift, new furniture, uh, new furnace, new office area. So it's got lots of time to do some home renos. Yeah. Uh, Peter tweeted me. He said, having dinner with my wife and my two boys every night for almost three months has been awesome. Being a grade five and six math teacher at our home has also been pretty cool, too. It's yeah. been great spending so much time with people, right, Janelle, if you're quarantining with them? If you're able to spend more time at home with the family, absolutely. And we, we've we been doing the projects, the home projects, so we moved last year. We had a lot of renos going on last year, and that was all on the inside of the house. So now we're finally dealing with the outside of the house, the garage. I can finally see the floor of the garage. <laughs> I know it's amazing. My we got a tweet there from that. She says, I'm not watching sports because there's no sports on, so I'm reading <laughs> no more. Sports. So not only are we getting those home renos in, maybe we're becoming a little bit more educated, a bit yeah. more culture, Janella. Awesome. Well, you got to find a silver lining in all of this. And you know what? I'm going to save you some lettuce from my garden. I'll, I'll drop it off. Yeah, Good. absolutely. I would love some. Okay, scientists are also learning some incredible things about the world during this pandemic. Yeah, this is also a positive to come out of it that, you know, I never really thought about, but was reading, uh, reading about this yesterday. Uh, the pandemic has offered scientists an unprecedented chance to hear the oceans as they once were. You know, for a long time, scientists wanted to hear the chit chat b between whales hundreds of miles apart or the clicks of the dolphins. They couldn't really do it because of all the sound that mankind makes. Ah. COVID-19, though, presented this opportunity. Scientists put their underwater microphones to work. And the early research suggests, Janella, that large whales have adapted to man-made noises by raising their voices and their pitch. Scientists speculate that many species have also moved to quieter regions of the world so they can find food. The experts say they'll be looking to see if whales and other sea mammals adapt to the quieter oceans we have now by lowering their voices. Huh, interesting. <laughs> unbelievable, all the, the, the positive things that the last three months might have presented. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the, the Earth is getting a breather from all the emissions from, from us. You know, even we talk about downtown Toronto, animals coming out, uh, you yeah, know, how many re reclaiming their... <laughs> everything have we seen? It's crazy. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we're taking up space that was theirs before, so they're, they're enjoying it again. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.